on this one now. Uh, might have to do that off stream. Hey Grat. Get this. Okay, so let's try... Try to do it, Tristan. Is there any other pictures of her I might need? Ah, there we go. Okay, so pretty standard design, I think. Look for a, a decent body type. Real morality, turn, turn, turn. Hope you're doing well. Trying to get through some stuff before getting back to normal. I think I'll work on a Fat Lovers Club for this stream and then go back to commissions. I will do I'll be doing three black and white comic pages for the commissions before I tackle yours because the black and white pages are a little bit faster for me to get through. There we go. Um, they've been fine, just slowly getting back to normal. Once I, once I do all of the commissions and those are all done, because there's only seven left now. Three for the person that I'm gonna that has the con pages, the three you have, and then there's one more. So there's only seven left, and then the even the last one, the seventh one, um, isn't like 
like there's still work for it but like for the most part it's mostly done already because it's more of a alternate version of a commission that was already uh, i had already done but there's a little bit more to it as well but um yeah it's only seven left and then once i get through those i can focus more on my own stuff but i'm still gonna work on like the fat lovers club stuff and then i'll be doing the patreon poll stuff as well so yeah just slowly getting back to normal um the computer dying was definitely definitely didn't help though <laughs> so luckily we're past that now but yeah definitely definitely getting back to normal and then I'll be working on, you know, my own work again. So yeah, this little short hiatus wasn't exactly planned this way, but it just kind of happened. Uh, I have no idea, honestly, because when the computer was in um startup mode or you know when you go into safe mode or whatever or not even safe mode but you know when you go to the beginning um menu before the system itself goes into the os and all that um the computer would stay on like it would work fine in that mode but then once you leave that and go into um windows itself then i would only have about five minutes or less before the computer just shuts down and i had no idea what the problem was because if it was the battery then the battery should have shut off during the other the other um screen before getting to the windows uh, um, os it should have turned off the, in the same manner regardless of of um or not regardless but like it should have turned off in the same amount of time but it didn't do that it's just stayed on so once it shut off during actually using the computer i didn't know what what the what the problem was so rather than trying to mine go through all these mental gymnastics trying to figure that out i, I felt the best option was just to get a new computer because like because like the the computer was already set well it will be seven years old next month so it was already an old computer to begin with that had already been i was already talking about getting a new computer anyway um it just kind of forced my hand because i had no other means of of operating once it pretty much died so it wasn't uh, the new computer i have is perfectly fine and it's going great right now um it wasn't uh, it obviously wasn't the the computer i had in mind because i was thinking of getting a more high-end computer like a stupid a stupid strong one but getting what i got now i think is for the best i think it was one of those i think it was just one of those like potentially fate related <laughs> type of scenarios where it's like eh, let's let's just push you in this direction so wasn't what I wanted necessarily, but I'm not going to complain because it's working fine and it was cheap. It was only like 600 because it was like on some kind of sale when I when I got it. So it was like $300 off for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain. It's like, I don't know why you're on sale, but uh, fuck it. <laughs> so. So, yeah, this is a really, a really good computer. For what it for for everything it does. Um, I moved the drives from the old computer onto the new one, so nothing was lost. And even if I couldn't move the drives, nothing was still lost because I save everything to external drives anyway, and then I back those up too. So nothing was lost. Um, had to kind of jump through a few, a few ho hoops to get certain programs onto the computer because some of the programs just weren't meant for Windows 11. But um, other than that, you know, everything's fine now. Yeah, like 
it would go into the BIOS um, screen perfectly fine. Like I could move around the settings. I could, you know, try to figure out what was going on. And it even let me go into safe mode briefly. But like once I left that area, then the rest of the computer would just die. Because like if I went anywhere other than the BIOS screen, it, it would die in like three minutes or um, five minutes or so or less. So no idea what the issue was because that part doesn't make sense. <laughs> so that's that's the part that blows my mind. It's like, I don't know what's wrong here, because if it was the battery or anything else, shouldn't they die in the same amount of time regardless of what I was doing? But I don't know. Like, I, I don't know enough about computers to know what the problem was. But in the future, if I can use my old computer um, offline for stuff, like, you know, try to fix whatever it was, whatever the problem was, I can use it to render things on the side. That way I'm not using this computer to do everything. So if I can fix the old one, then cool. If not, then maybe I'll get like an, a, another computer strictly for rendering and other side stuff so that way i'm not only doing or doing all of that on one computer so that will be the uh the idea at least in the future but for now i'm completely fine with what i have and i in ultimately it might have been the best because like if i were to try to go for a high-end computer that was going to be a few k to try to do all that and the model I was looking for, they were out of stock at the time anyway. So I would have had to wait to try to get that particular model anyway. So I think the way things happened was probably for the best. Because it was like, okay, here's a better computer and it's also cheaper. And pretty much got everything back to normal. And then I just got to, you know, get through commissions. So... It might have been, I have no idea. <laughs> because it was getting to the point where things were taxing it, so yeah, it could have been the motherboard. Because it's, it's an old computer, it's like almost seven years old, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was something. And then not only that, the computer had other problems, like um, I noticed that all but one of the fans was working which was weird. So it was having that issue. Um, the graphics card. Um, I know the fans would work for that, but it was like very random. Like I didn't know when exactly it would kick in. Um, the graphics card's pretty old as well. Uh, well, not old, old. It was a... Uh... Fuck, what was it? I don't think it was a 1040. I think it was like a 10... Uh, hold on, let me check, because I know I can find what what graphics card it was. Hold on. Uh, oh, past orders. Uh, when did I get it? I think I got it in like 2019, I think. Might have been 2020. No, it couldn't have been 2020 because COVID was doing so. It might have been either 2017 or 2018. Uh, let's find out. Because now I'm curious. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, here we go. It was a 1060. Yeah, I was right. Wow, I actually got it right. Yeah, it was a, ten, a GTX 1060. So it's still in the old computer because I think the graphics card I have now is better than the 1060. Um, I don't know which one it is. Let me check real quick. Uh, properties should tell me here. Uh, maybe it'll tell me in the other screen. 
settings. Uh, system display. I think it's display that tells me. Graphics. Uh, is it graphics settings? No. I do not for the life of me remember how to navigate this thing. Well, then again, this is a new computer, so this, this whole layout is different for me. Devices, I think. God damn it. Whatever. I'll, I'll look forward some other time. I'll just try this one more time. Details, maybe? No, this isn't, this isn't telling me what I'm looking for. Ten eighty TIs are really the ones that can still hold water at the moment. It depends on. Yeah, because I mean, it bo ultimately it boils down to what you want to use the computer for. Because if you're trying to game, then of course you kind of need a powerful graphics card to uh, play whatever it is you're trying to play that requires the heavy lifting and all that. But. Uh, but if you're doing something as simple as, you know, a drawing pro program, then you're you're not going to need all this crazy nonsense. Like you you don't need to jump through that many hoops just to get something going. So yeah, just uh, it just it just boils down to priorities. Damn it. Uh, this used to be so much easier. Why are they make this harder? Oh, wait, is this it? Uh, no, this isn't it. Okay, whatever. I'll look for it some other time. I forgot because I know I know I looked it up to see how strong it was compared to the one I had, and I think the one that's in the new computer is stronger than the 1060 GTX that I that I had before. So ultimately, I still think this was a good buy. It, and as long as it does what I need it to do, then I am not complaining. Um, the one in the old computer was a GTX 1060. I don't remember what the one for this computer is called. I might be able to look. I might be able to find it this way. Let me see. Okay, assuming, assuming this website is correct, I think the one I have is a no it's definitely not this because this is way more expensive than what I paid so you can see it in task manager okay hold on let me do that in GPU performance performance Ah, it is a AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. I have no idea if that's really good or not. Probably isn't. Like, I would, I'm pretty sure there's stronger cards now. But still, I would rather... I'm perfectly fine with what I have. So a Risen 5 5600G. Hey Alex.
Yeah, because I know AMD and Navida or whatever it's called um, are really good. And for what I spent to get to get that to get a, get a you know money well spent. So, but yeah, for what I needed it for, definitely was a lifesaver for how cheap for how cheap the computer itself was. That's good. At least there was a solution to that. Okay, so let's get your... I'll do your hair last. I just want to get the body. But yeah, for what I need it for, I think it's more than enough. I haven't, I haven't really stress tested it, tested it too much. Like I haven't tried to play games that I played before, other than um, Yu-Gi-Oh and Ark Knights. But um, I need to try to get all the other stuff I had on my old computer back on, because it's a rather depressing that a lot of games that I have like I think I have their save data still but it's a little depressing to be like oh yeah here's all my shit and then now it's trapped on my other, well not trapped on my other computer because I have the drive still but I, I gotta have steam go through the right shit to get my memory back but I think one of the problems is that I'll have to reinstall the programs and that's going to take up some data. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. But hopefully I can problem solve that so it doesn't have to take up so much. And she's got some big titties. But yeah, hey Alex. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you're in the office. Yeah, I hope you're doing alright. Hope work isn't too... too much bullshit. <laughs> Alex is a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on one of the Fat Lovers Club. So I'm doing Tristan from One Piece. And then once I'm done with this, I'm going to move on to working on commissions. So it's going to be three of the comic pages I have to do. And then after those will be Grunt Lover next. And then yours is last, because that way I can do all the necessary adjustments. And get that ready. So hopefully this week will be the last week of me working on commissions as long as everything goes well I need to delete the streams from my 
drive because I realize that I have no real reason of saving them other than just posting them. Like the speed paints I'll save, but the streams I'm just kind of like, eh, I care a little less for these. Hey, Sacred. Two midnights in a row, yeah. Mostly just to work on the commit the not safe for work stuff or whatever so like anything that's risque i want to be able to work on but i also figured streaming would be fun this picture probably won't be as risque but i didn't want to take any chances in case i like change my mind and decide to have her nips out Since I can do that, which now that I'm thinking about it, it probably sounds like a fun idea. It's like, oh yeah, it was ever bursting out of her nurse outfit. Oh yeah, I should probably just have the picture that I'm looking at up, just so you guys know who I'm drawing. There we go. So this is who I'm working on. And I have all the references on the side. But yeah, one of the biggest hurdles from having this new computer was um, getting the adapters so I could use all of my screens. Because only one of them used a, used a, a USB while the rest required the DV... The, DVIs and the uh, I forget what the other one was called but yeah it, it required those plugs and the new computer didn't have any of those because they have been like phased out for the most part other than um, you know adapters still using them and you know people still sell the plugs because other things use them but um, but yeah I was, so I had to like get the adapters for that so they could use USBs but then I also needed them to use the the um, DVI plug and then also the the other plugs like the blue and the white ones I keep forgetting the names right now I'm just blank now but yeah just a few hoops I had to jump through to get everything back in order and I was just like running around trying to get them and I had to order them because some places didn't have them in stock so I had to order them from Amazon so just just a lot of a lot of um, jumping through hoops for to get back to normal. Mm, I kind of want this to be more rounded, so let's do it like this. We can adjust it later. Just want to get the general shape. But yeah, other than finishing off commissions, everything is fine. And then I'll be able to get back to working on Black Circus and iHat. As well as any spin offs that I want to do. Audio is coming out, in and out. Uh, let's see. Don't know if it's because I'm also um, compressing a video at the moment. But if not, then um, I don't know what it could be one of your headphones or something. Or a loose cable. Oh, the problem was on your end. Okay. Yeah, it could have been me. That's why I. That's why I put it out there. It's like it could be me. <laughs> so. 
So far, this computer has been able to do things a lot faster because some stuff that used to take my second computer a long time to get through, this computer just kind of blitzes through in like a half an hour or so. So that's that's a that's a good good plus. So hopefully, whenever I render speed paints again. Um, it can render the, render out those really quick. Yes, here's the here's the la gut, here's the gut, <laughs> big big belly. Need to start the meme like no 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 pregnant only fat, <laughs> no pregnant it's only fat. <laughs> You have um, Mini Marcy saying that to to Blake, <laughs> to Blake Dinewell, just going, "No for gun, and it's only fat." <laughs> so, oh, so it could be something to do with the jack. Maybe it's loose or something because I've had that problem with my old. wide and then I want to do another there's there's a lot of things I want to do I want to do another like full art set I'm still working on the uh, second cream filled art set I want to do another um, collector's piece too then once um, Sakimi Chan releases her tutorial for live 2D animation stuff, I can uh, not the 2D live like not like the Hollow Life stuff, but like um, you know just animated illustrations. Once she releases the tutorial for that, I want to try tackling that. So there's there's quite a number of things I want to get underway. Because if I can do those, then should be good. But I think once I'm done with the commissions and all that, I'm just going to solely focus on comic stuff for a while. Just to help get those underway. Aside from, you know, like whole winter patreon stuff it said mike is not working at Pete. hmm i don't know might be might have to go into the system or the little sound adjust adjustment thing i don't know and try to enable whatever's going on with that i don't know it's one of those things where i have to like, kind of see what the issue is but then again i'm not like a freaking computer expert clearly so hopefully it works though we're all dealing with audio bullshit tonight i know right I mean, I was dealing with that with that nonsense when I was trying to figure out um, why my mic was so fucking low when I was first stream streaming again, and then it took me forever but figured it out. Figured out that my computer, by default, had all my settings at like fifty percent, and I was just like, "What?" <laughs> Which is fine like i mean obviously it didn't want to blow my ears out but it was just one of those things where i'm just like w why <laughs> griping here and then gripe all you want <laughs> you're more than welcome 
you, you guys always hear me bitch about Sonic and other stuff that I'm into, so... You're more than welcome to do what to do that. Okay, her hands seem pretty normal. Seems like the only thing that's interesting about her is that she's a squirrel. As far as I know, I know very I know nothing of this character. <laughs> I have not really delve into One Piece very much. I just kind of hop in every once in a while to see what's been going on. Usually there's some kind of fight going on every time I jump in. I think the last time I jumped into uh, One Piece was when he was fighting uh, Don Flamingo. So, or at least I, I think it was just a copy of him or some shit. I don't know. All I know is that he was fighting Don Flamingo. And it had like the strings cage around the, uh, around the uh, the city. So aside from that, I have no fucking clue what's been going on in the series. Uh, she has little slipper things. Can use this since I have this one on that screen. It's, it's my cup of tea. It was just one of those situations where, at the time, um, getting into One Piece was difficult because there wasn't a lot of ways for me to find the series. And then it was like one of those things where it's like I was into it when I could, but once I like fell off for whatever reason, I, it was just harder to jump back in. So now I just kind of look at it from afar or like, whatever information I end up getting based off of whatever random clips or, or episodes I see, then I just go off of that. So, like, sometimes I'll just look at the fights of, like, oh, it's Luffy versus Aokiji. So I'll, I'll watch stuff like that, but over, like, story itself, I just fell off and just couldn't, couldn't um, make my way back to it. Maybe one day I'll actually sit down and just watch the episodes in, in 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 their entirety, from the beginning all the way to where it is now. Maybe watch like three, four episodes at a time, just to chuck through. But um, but yeah, it was just one of those things where I just fell off in the um after. I think I fell off after. What arc was it? I think it was the arc after. They tried to save Ace. It was like really big. It was like early shit. No. Yeah, yeah. It had to be that because... No, no, no. Because it was um, after... After the after they fought... Um... <coughs> ah, God. Dry throat. Hold on. I think it was after they tried to save Robin. I mean, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I'm completely, I have completely forgotten which arcs came first. But I think, it, I think it was Robin's. Robin's was after Ace, I think. After the Ace one. So yeah. I think I can get back into it. I just gotta put in the time. Which might be easier now, since there's been few anime that I've been watching as of late. So maybe I'll pick a few that I've been meaning to get into or jump back into and watch it from there and go from there. So yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. But I do like One Piece. I do feel that at times, it, I feel, well, I mean, obviously I haven't been following it, but like based on how much has happened, I feel some of it feels like kind of dragged out at least it seems that way like i obviously don't know because i don't know the full story of what's going on and all that but it seemingly it just seems like some stuff is being dragged out but other than that i like one piece i just need to get myself back into it
Naruto, I, I stopped after the initial series, like after Shippuden. Because Boruto, I'm just kind of like, whatever. I was like, eh. And like the only criticism I really have of um, of uh, Naruto was learning that everything they did was just because they were hella privileged. So it kind of just made everything kind of feel. It made it made everything feel robbed. It, if if like it's like you have all these other characters who are working hard, you know, learning techniques and trying to you know adjust and stuff like that, find other means of um, of getting past major enemies and stuff, and then at the very very end of it all. You come to realize oh you're able to do all this because you're you're just special you were born special and and and, and you're just more special than the other people so so of course you're going to succeed like i hate i hate it when it boils down to that because like the same shit pretty much happened with goku where it's like in the beginning, you're like, oh, okay, Goku has to, you know, learn all this shit and all that. I, like we had this discussion before, Goku has to learn all this shit. But then once you learn, like, oh, well, he's a Saiyan, and it's like, uh, it's like it, it didn't completely rob him of having to learn shit because just because he was a Saiyan didn't mean he couldn't like die or anything like that. Like he was still pretty vulnerable. But then as time progressed, he just got more and more powerful to the point where he has very little opposition and even if there was he'll just he'll just find a way to become more powerful like especially during the uh the uh the uh what you call it un the universal tournament or the tournament of power there we go um like the tournament of power realistically was like what what we what we find out it was like 46 minutes or something like that 42 minutes somewhere around there and once 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 goku was told oh hey there's this there's a special state called ultra instinct and they don't even explain how to really get into it it was just a thing but then goku just suddenly does it in the most bizarre way cuz it makes no goddamn sense on why it's so powerful compared to when he actually powers up and then it's just he just able to trigger it like not not only does he spontaneously trigger it um after having his own attack reflected back at him but then he spontaneously triggers it like what three four more times within the same 42 minutes and i'm just like well shit was there any actual way he was gonna fail this <laughs> Or, you know, not just get some sudden ultra powerful transformation that he like didn't it clearly didn't show up the other times that he was gonna almost die. But no, nah, we're gonna have it show up now. And granted, he it could have been a possibility because he hadn't like he had like, you know, the god energy at this point. But still, it was just kinda like, man, he he really worked for that, didn't he? He just he just he just let it ha it just it just kind of happened because <laughs> like at least with super saiyan god like the first time when he first gets that at least that made sense because it's like okay here's a form that he can't actually obtain without the help of other characters so like if they had kept it that way where he had to have people give him energy because he's done that before in previous um fights where his friends would give him energy and that way he would become strong enough to to beat the main villain like because this happened like a lot in the movies and stuff like that like if they had kept it that way so that way um when more saiyan characters appear in the uh, in later battles if the only way goku could attain super saiyan god was to be given energy from more saiyans then sure that would have made way more sense for him to have super saiyan god as like a, an actual power up that he has to rely on others to get and not just instantaneously do it now. And then I don't know what he, what what would have been needed for Super Saiyan Blue. Like they could have made it so that okay, Super Saiyan God is when Goku's not 
trans like gone in Super Saiyan state, he's just normal and he has that power up. And then once he tries taking it further by going Super Saiyan, then he gets blue. Like that would have made a lot more sense and it would have felt more um, more earned. Uh, music I am playing is called Industrial Metal Dark Sync or Dark um, Dark Synth Mix. I will grab a the link to it for you guys. Here you go. But yeah, like it just would have been better if it was earned rather than just hand it to him you're welcome and th and like that's that was the fun part about goku in the beginning where it's just like okay yeah he's a strong character but he was he was not like portrayed as invincible and it and it always required more help from other characters for him to get there and the same thing was for Tournament of Power. Like, even though Goku's kind of started the whole tournament thing by, oh, I want to fight strong enemy or strong foes, or just strong people in general, even though he kind of started all that, he he did realize that it wasn't a tournament that he alone could win. He actually required his uh, an actual team. But then, like, he learns all this, but then as soon as the tournament starts, every... Um, Almost all the major characters just kind of run off on their own to go fight. So it was kind of like, okay, what was the whole point of all this teamwork bullshit if we weren't even going to fight as a team? And the only characters that fought as a team were like Piccolo, Gohan, uh, Master Roshi, Krillin. I wanted, no, I, I don't even think 18 and 17 um, stayed with them. I think they went off on their own too. But at least 17 and 18 actually do work as a team. Like, that's literally their thing. But yeah, it was just kind of like... It was like giving you all these, all these fucking lessons and stuff, only to just ignore it. And I never... And I hate it when stories do that. Because, like, they make it seem like it's such a big thing, but then once it becomes important, it just becomes stupid. Yeah, like, in other instances, it made sense for Goku to be, like, a, a, a genius fighter because he would take the techniques he learned and then manipulate them in ways. Or, like, he would, like, find some way of adjusting over time. He didn't just have abilities given to him. Because, like, he, he, like, even when he was a kid, when he learned how to do the after image, image um, technique, like, that was something. It was like, okay, Goku can can adjust his speed um, so that way he can leave after images of himself cool or when he learned um spirit bomb and the solar flare and the like even the kamehameha he learned how to mani manipulate that um, to a degree but then it later on just became like okay once goku touched got a got a small touch of being a super saiyan god then they say, oh, his body remembers um, the feeling of being that powerful. So now it, it itself can get more powerful. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, that's stupid. It's like, so what? He just can become infinitely more powerful just because? He's, he's almost having a Superman syndrome where he's as strong as the writers tell it, say he is at this point. Like he doesn't have to earn it anymore. And granted, like, they do technically have him train. But even then, it doesn't really feel like anything happens. Because, like, when he when he goes to train, he's usually just fighting Vegeta to train. Like, nothing really special is done to adjust that. So it's like, okay, what is he learning that he couldn't have learned just by fighting Vegeta the way he always does anyway? Like, he's already fighting Vegeta... Vegeta almost daily I need to fix this leg but like he's already doing that so what was the difference just because he was on another planet and being taught by Whis which again they're not changing what was being done they're just changing the people involved that's it like nothing special happened 
Because like even with the hyperbolic time chamber, you could boil that down to okay, time flows differently, so you can assume Goku is having more fighting experience because there are years passing by. So that makes a little bit more sense. But even then, it's like okay, so he, so what's happening here when it comes to him getting form changes? So yeah, it's it's just one of those things where it's like. I liked it when characters earned their their upgrades and success and all that instead of just oh you were born special so you're not going to fail because you're more special than every other character in the story cuz once that happened in Naruto that's when it was just like man that that was a bad writing at that point Because they introduced a, n a new character that nobody fucking talked about. Not even the, the, the character that's supposed to be from the new character. And then it just kind of happens. And then they have to like, oh, well, we got to stop this character. We know nothing about. But, oh, I guess we were born special. So we have the ability to stop this character that we just met. Because at least when, like in other stories, like again with Goku fighting like characters in like the movies and shit, obviously these are like one-time characters that he has to deal with at, at right there and then. At least in those cases, um, Goku was using abilities that required other people. Like he didn't just have the answer. I think the only character I could excuse is when he first fights Cooler, because in that narrative it was supposed to be when Goku still um, still hadn't gone Super Saiyan, so the first time he goes Super Saiyan was against Cooler in that specific timeline, so that's how that worked. But then when he fights like say Janemba, he required the fusion technique, so it required another character. When he fought Broly, he needed energy from everybody else in order to beat Broly. So there was that. So, like, it wasn't, a, like, a solo thing that he could do. Thankfully, there's other huge uh, supporting cast to help offset. Yeah. It just sucks when the supporting cast doesn't really get to shine. Which is why I was kind of glad that, uh, that Gohan kind of had a, his own movie. For the most part, um, he's had like two now. Like I was, I'm, I'm glad like Gohan and even Piccolo got support movies, but um, I kind of wish the upgrades they had weren't weren't just you know the same thing but just a, a different color. <laughs> it's like really like you couldn't give them something cool like a really cool design. It just all it was is a color change, and maybe something facial that was different that was like kind of it and like in gohan's case it was just not only a different color hair but his hair was longer like that was it <laughs> oh and you know eye color change but even then it was like really just just a color change nothing yeah yeah no no other other good idea like even frieza getting another power up in the manga where he becomes black frieza i was like really all like all this is is just another fucking color change. <laughs> like at least with Super Saiyan three and Super Saiyan four, they were like actual differences for the character. And granted, animating Super Saiyan three was probably a bitch <laughs> because of how his hair was. But still, at least it was like an actual change and not just hey, it's Super Saiyan but blue. <laughs> so it's like God. And then, like, I would love to see other character side characters get like more support and um, and upgrades. Like Krillin definitely needed it. Yamcha needs it. Tien needs it. Master Roshi could probably like you could probably make a special for Master Roshi where like Master Roshi learns like one final technique, and it's like something really interesting that that boils like all of his 
mastery of techniques and stuff up until that point. Um, um, into his last of his last final ability, like that would have been pretty cool. Like they could have, they could easily do that with Master Roshi. Like he's supposed to be like the character to be learning shit from, and like you know his sister has to do with spirits and stuff like that. It's like you you'd think that Master Roshi has like some ties to some kind of spiritual awakening. Like if it, like honestly, if anybody was to learn Ultra Instinct, it should have been him. Like that would have been fucking cool. Like even if it was like a temporary thing, and like maybe his age. Um, is like the handicap where it's like, oh, he, because he's so old now, his body probably can't handle being in Ultra Instinct too long or some shit. Like, they could have did something with him to make it cool. Or, or to, just to make his his character cool. It was like, you'd think he'd know, he'd know like a whole bunch of shit at this point. Especially since, he, you know, he can just buff out and shit. But, uh, but yeah, like... And then Tien, you know, Tien runs like a like a school and shit like that, and and clearly he's learned a lot of techniques since the older days. Like he's learned shit, but they 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 always downplay him because it's like, oh, he unlocked his third eye. I was like, okay, what does that do? We don't know. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you don't know? He like he has this interesting gimmick, but you don't do anything with it. And God knows what the fuck Jiaotzu is. He's probably a fucking vampire. <laughs> like, come on. He looks like one. Um, like the Chinese vampires, so who knows. But, like, um... There's just, like, a lot of characters with a lot of potential that just don't get to do anything in, in Dragon Ball. Like, even to the point where the creator of Dragon Ball has forgotten characters. Like, launch. Like, he straight up said, admitted that he forgot launch was even a thing. And she, like, literally was prominent in Dragon Ball. So, like, she, she like, had a major spot in the original story. And 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 he forgot that she existed. That's that's how bad it's gotten when it comes to Goku and other, char and other powerhouse characters just taking up the spotlight. Because none of the side characters get a chance to shine anymore. Gohan's like the bridge, basically. It's like, he's just weak enough where e actual effort has to be done. But but still strong enough where he's like getting enough attention to outshine the other characters. And then Piccolo's like right next to him, because, I mean, let's let's all face it, Piccolo's his real dad. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> but, but still, it's just like, damn. Like Yamcha could could easily learn more shit. Like he like he even he even said he was willing to go to the tournament of power. He was just waiting for Goku to call him, and Goku didn't uh, thought that he wasn't gonna be good enough. And then I don't know how the fuck they tried to make it that Krillin could could tackle fighting Goku Super Saiyan Blue while using a Kamehameha on him. And then Krillin just using, like, you know, the basic command man that he has. I was like, I, I have no idea how you tried to make this look like Krillin could do anything. <laughs> like, that was just a slap to, Kr to Krillin to, to give him hope. <laughs> it's like, we're gonna give this character who clearly cannot fight any of these other strong powerhouse characters, and we're gonna make it look like he can, he has, like, a, a moment. <laughs> and granted, it, it was cool to see him try. But it was, but it was silly to think that it was gonna go anywhere. And I like the joke that they did with, um, <clears throat> with Hit, where he does power up, but he doesn't have a physical change, so people couldn't tell if he actually powered up or not. And one of the the angels at the point I was like, oh no, he powered up. He just doesn't have he just doesn't have a physical chain. And I was just like, damn. <laughs> and that was like the other thing. Like I kinda hate hate that the major villains for Dragon Ball nowadays just boil down to looking like Frieza or Cell or Boo. 
that's it. That's why I was like um, pissed off when I forget his name, but the goat guy from the manga. I got so pissed off when he transformed and he just looked like fucking Frieza himself. Because he looks so much better as just an old man goat. And then they ruined it. <laughs> I was like, man, how did you go from, uh, from perfect S-class design to garbage? It's almost like they're overly relying on the nostalgia to try to sell their characters now, because the same thing, the same problem happened with um, Go Go Gohan getting his um, next form, because they had to. Not only did they bring back, or well, did they bring back the Cell, but just you know made it a different character. But then they had to like recreate the his moment that he had in Dragon Ball uh, in the Cell games when he first went Super Saiyan two. And then make it go like that. Like it was cool that he he mostly used um, Piccolo's moves because that makes the most goddamn sense ever. But uh, but they really didn't give him a chance to just you know be his character without relying on nostalgia to sell him. But yeah, I think it's just dumb that they keep reusing Cell and Frieza and Boo. And granted, it could be just, you know, Toriyama's um, art style and just the way he does things at this point, but I don't know. I, I, f I feel like. I feel like they're they're not trying anymore. Well, no, that can't be right because when we have the goat dude, then then they are. So it's like, okay, here's this cool goat guy, and then he just ends up looking like fucking um, Cell or Frieza, whichever the two that it was. It just end up looking lame. And they almost did that with Boo. When he fought, when he um, absorbed um, uh, Piccolo and Gohan, he almost just looked like fucking Cell. But luckily, they just made him go back to normal as being Kid Boo. So I was like, okay, at least I can deal with this being a cool design. Of course, back then I wasn't thinking about that because I was in my young teens at that point. Yeah, right. It's just, and that, and that's probably that probably aids to why I get so bored of certain designs, because it always just boils down to like, up oh, here's is another humanoid, um, big muscle man. One, it would be interesting if a female character was like, was like stupid strong. And second, it would be also interesting if we have a non-human character. Or humanoid character. Yeah, and to be fair, some of the characters are related, which is why they look they look alike. Because and some of them are like from the same race, so that's another factor. But yeah, for a lot of points, there are some characters that just straight, straight up look look like other characters, with like mild changes. And it just I don't know. It, it just seems like there's a lot of lost potential, especially because like it seemed like there was more potential in the early days with character designs. Because like when you go like I mean obviously, it's Toriyama style, so you're gonna have you know similar looks here and there for certain characters but like they seemed more developed and not as um, campy back then i mean it, and that could also just be you know due to time at this point but like um like the bojack gang for example like they were they were interesting 
Um, and that was also when Gohan was supposed to be the main character for um, the continuing Dragon Ball arc. But then because Goku was so goddamn popular, um, Gohan had to get the shaft. So they completely nerfed Gohan, made him not powerful at all. And it took them like another like what twenty years before he got anything significant. Because they made him kinda strong when he fought against Boo. And then they took that away once they did um Dragon Ball F with or Resurrection F when Frieza came back and they just made Gohan pointless. It's like, oh, he hasn't fought in a long time, so now he's stupid weak. And then they kind of remedied that with um, the Tournament of Power when Piccolo trained him to get back in shape. But then that kind of didn't really amount to much because he didn't really get to do anything at the Tournament of Power. He was just kind of there. Like, he, he did fight and stuff, but it was just like, I don't know, it didn't feel like he really got the shine. And then they have gave him his movie, his recent movie. And he finally gets another power up, but then it's, all it is is just another color change. Could have been, they could have did a lot more with it, but instead they just made his hair bigger and colored it white. That's it. Didn't like try to give some unique design to it or anything. It was like, nope, it's just longer and white. He just has this big, big old poof of hair and it's white. That's it. And that, 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 it's like, well, we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> Perfect design. 10 out of 10. And then Piccolo, he finally gets a fucking power up after God knows how long. And all it is is just him being orange. That's it. He's a little he's a little buffer. He's got like a weird chin thing going on or whatever the fuck that is on his face. And he's orange. And and just and just to rub it in, he couldn't think of a he he couldn't think of a better name for his form. So he just calls himself Orange Piccolo. They couldn't have called him Shenron Pic Piccolo or or Dragon Ball Piccolo or some shit like that since you know he got his power up from the dragon. But no, nope, we're just gonna call it Orange Piccolo, just like P no, Frieza gets a Black Frieza and Gold Frieza. <laughs> like power ups now in Dragon Ball just boil down to the colors. What next? We're gonna get we're gonna get Platinum Beerus. Is that is that what's gonna happen? That's just gonna be his new form. Is just Platinum Fr Platinum um, Beerus. Is that how it's gonna be? Make the strongest fire of some Cloud Nebula entity or something. Right? <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't, I don't understand why anyone would think that was a good idea. And for all we know, it could be the situation where people really didn't think that was a good idea, but they're not going to speak up. Like, that could be the case as well. But I don't know because people spoke because someone spoke up about Broly being canon, and they thought that was a good idea. It's like, oh, we want we want to do a new movie. What, but what character are we gonna use? And someone was like, oh, what about Broly? He's not he's not technically canon, and so they did, and now he's canon. So <laughs> yeah, and that's the sad part. It was like the 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 upgrades back then were way more were way more significant like when uh, Frieza first transformed he actually had actual physical changes changes to his body to the point where he would get taller had like long ass horns then he looked like the fucking alien from aliens and then he had you know the the, the signature uh, gray gray alien form that he has but then after that they just boil it all down to color change like, even his brother had, like, a really cool transformation. But then later on, they just made him, 
well you have metal cooler but that there's a there's a reason behind that so that made sense but then you have golden frieza and then if you go off of the spinoff you have golden cooler so it's just kind of like okay <laughs> So I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know where, what happened to the point where getting a power up nowadays just means you change color. You become palette swapped. <laughs> Forever, get for whatever goddamn reason. Kind of surprised Broly didn't suffer that fate. But then again, he was probably he he was literally the OG. Here's these new colors, and it looks cool on him. Like when Broly, like if you go off of the first, the the original Broly movie, he had that weird blue hair, blue purple hair, because he was being mind controlled, and that's what made it cool. And then you know he had the signature green or the yellowish green um, hair, and that made sense because it was supposed to represent that his power was way different compared to everybody else's. And they kept and they kept it that way. They it was like okay, only only this character has had it if you if you don't count um. Kale, which is weird because I I think they kind of ignore Kale at this point because if you go off of the recent if you go off of the Broly movie from the Super timeline, they don't even acknowledge that that Broly's power is similar to Kale since Kale is canonically the first version that they meet in that timeline, so they don't even acknowledge Kale. <laughs> It's because they're like, oh, this is the first time we met anybody with this power. And I was like, uh, what about Kale? <laughs> and they're like, and they just completely ignore it. So, so I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's like they, it, like they don't completely forget the shit that they make, but it's almost like they didn't intend. To use Broly, and that's why they did it. But now that Broly is a thing, they kind of like, well, let's just pretend kill didn't happen. Uh, anyway, all best, like, all I'm saying is that Go, uh, Go, or Dragon Ball had a lot more attention to detail and stuff instead of just saying, "Up, oh, this character gets a power up." And then it's just, and then all it is is just another fucking color. It's like, what are we gonna get red Krillin or blue Krillin? Is that how this is gonna work? So yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm probably nitpicking and all that, but it is just I'm just going off of that there were clear examples that they put in effort when a character transformed. Hell, even back in the day when the fighting was just more art, uh, martial arts based, fucking Yamcha had the whole werewolf had the whole wolf theme going on. So they could have easily made it like like if you even if you were gonna steal ideas from like another fucking anime, they could have made something interesting with Gamcha. Like if you go off of Bleach, and you go off of um, the character Stark. Stark has an ability where he basically makes his energy become fucking wolves. You could easily do that with Yamcha and be so goddamn cool. Cause that was literally his thing. He had the he had like a wolf attack back in the day. Because he had Wolf Fang Fist. And every time he used it, an image of a wolf would appear. So you could easily do that for Yamcha and just say, okay, he's learned a new technique. He can now turn his energy into fucking wolves and they can fucking t track you and, you know, this fucking suicide bomb. Similar to the, the Ghost Kamikaze attack. And there you go. <laughs> this isn't hard. <laughs> But now nah, we're just gonna make Yamcha the constant joke that he can't fight anymore. I still think old school Yamcha was the best. 
um, design. Like when he had his long hair. Luckily he got it back. But for a while they like cut it short. And he ended up just looking like older Gohan. And it didn't make any any goddamn sense. Like Yamcha got shafted so goddamn hard in the series. Cause it was like, okay, Yamcha and Boma, that was gonna be the thing. And then I was like, nope, y uh, Boma and Vegeta. And I was like, where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> and they showed like, like I don't know if there was more in the manga or something, but they showed like what one or two two scenes of Boma chatting with Vegeta in a in a semi romantic way. And then suddenly they're hooked up. I was like, when the hell did this happen? Did he just like knock her up, and then that's why, <laughs> why they they got together? Like for whatever random ass reason, they just decided, hey, let's let's fuck for whatever reason, and then they're together. I was like, context, please. But no, there's like zero context on why that happened. I mean, and, and since Trunks is from an alternate timeline, they could have just said in that alternate timeline that was when Vegeta and Bulma hooked up. I don't know why they actually went through the, the weird trouble of actually making it a thing. But whatever, I mean, that's neither here nor there. That's just me questioning that, that, that route. Because it didn't make sense based on everything they, they set up up until that point. I mean, that would be like having, like, say, that would be like me having Marcy, you know, going Gaga for Skylar, Gaga for Skylar, the entire fucking storyline. And, and she's saying, like, oh, yes, I'm going to I'm going to be with Skylar. And, and then I'll find and then Skylar acknowledges Marcy and they get all romantic and stuff. So we go on dates and shit. And then suddenly <laughs> and then suddenly I just cut to marcy and blake or no marcy and stacy are dating like that's it like no no other context to it i don't explain that marcy and skyler broke up or had a fight or anything they just it's just that way like at least when i did the small change to neutral ending by having marcy break up with skyler i at least showed that happening <laughs> I didn't just say, oh, no, um, Skylar and her aren't, aren't together anymore, or aren't together at all. They just, here's this new guy. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> at least I didn't do that. At least I sh at least showed what the problem was or why that happened. Because that would have fucking driven you guys crazy if I had just said, Here's here's Marcy's new boyfriend. Here you go, and everyone's be like, "What? What happened to Skylar?" <laughs> and I just say nothing. Like that would have been a that would have been a smack to the balls. I'd have been so fucked up if I had done that. True, it wasn't much better, but at least I had something there. Like, it wasn't just, here's this new guy, and I don't even explain what happened to Skylar. Skylar gets cucked ending. <laughs> well, it wasn't even Skylar get cucked, it was Skylar breaking it off with Marcy. But yeah, like, at least I explained something. I didn't just go, now they're together now. Here you go. No, no setup whatsoever. <laughs> and to be fair, like, that epilogue was mostly just to kind of split the two timelines. 
of true ending and neutral to show like some something more significant of a difference. It wasn't the original plan, but it was more filler, if anything. But that would have been horrible if I just went through all the trouble of setting up those two for like the canonical story, only to just completely go 180 and set up something else and then not explain why it changed. Like I would have been more I would have been more okay if they at least shown Vegeta's interest in Boma and like they actually set it up and show that he cares and stuff like that or whatever his interest was but they don't even do that it's just up oh, here's here's trunk here's baby trunks we're um they're together now have a good night uh oh you want this guy to get cooked whoops my mistake <laughs> Yeah. It's just one of those things that once you think about it, you just go like, huh. Why was this a thing? It's kind of like why, if you ever watch the Chucky movies, you like, you like, um, I was talking to, to my friend about this earlier today, but I was like, how come Chucky required the amulet in the later movies when he didn't need it in the first, second, or third movie? I was like, why did he suddenly need it? And at first she was all like, well, it was to go into other, to, to human bodies. I was like, but he was already trying to do that. So why did he need them? Or why did he need, he need it? Speaking of dolls, remember the ending to the to fucking um, um, Night of the Living Living Dummy? Remember that shit? Remember when um, they had another doll, but the doll was just like a regular doll or whatever, and like they're already being terrorized by Slappy, and then at the very fucking end, Slappy gets destroyed because he gets knocked over by somebody, and everyone's like, "Oh, thank you for saving me," and 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 like, because I think it was like the brother talking to the sister or whoever it was, and they're like, "Oh, thank you for sa for saving me." He's like, "That wasn't me. I, uh, who was it?" And then they look over and it's their own doll that they had from the start, and it's just standing and moving and shit. And he's like, and the doll are like, "Glad to be part of the family again." And I was like, "What the fuck?" And it just ends. <laughs> like, there's no context to that. Like that shit was fucking creepy. Ah, uh, good old goosebumps. That that series was a was a joy. Like that's like one of the few creepy scenes from that series. There's only like a handful of them were actually scary. Other ones were just like weird head trips. Like the story of um, the community turning their dogs into people and their people into dogs, or their 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 animals into into kids and their kids into animals. That's what they were doing. Like that was some weird shit. At first, it was only dogs, but then the person who was doing it decided to move on and change um, people um, cats into people.
that was a head trip. Yeah, make it be better. Make it bigger. Haunted Mask was really good in Monster Blood. Oh yeah, Say Cheese and Die was pretty fucked up too. Like whatever happened in the photo was what's, what was going to happen to you. That's why X-Files was fun, because X-Files was just like a more mature version of Goosebumps. Where you just have a bunch of weird shit going on. Same thing when um, Zack Files was a thing. Because Zack Files was basically that stuff, but just focused on a singular character. And like his friends would document all the weird shit that would happen to him. Like, I think one episode was like, he ate something that was expired, and that caused his body to age. And I think it, his age was based on, like, the year that it expired. So, like, some shit like that. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Not sure how X-Files fans would feel about that. I mean, it wasn't, like, completely that, but it, but it was basically um, what X-Files was. It was, like, focused on, like, you know, bizarre shit. Because, like, there was, like, an episode of X-Files where they basically release a genie. And, um... And, uh... Mulder wishes for world peace. And the genie basically gets rid of every every human on Earth except for Mulder. And she keeps like explaining that you have to be specific with your wishes or else she just assumes what you're telling her. So it was like one of the that kind of stuff. <laughs> so it's just like goosebumps then. I mean, pretty much. I mean, kinda. <laughs> Just a bunch of random shit until they started getting more serious with it. But I enjoyed it. I think the first episode I ever saw of of um, X Files was the vampire one. Like that was a interesting trip. It was either. No, no, it had to be the vampire one. Because it's because the one where the guy who eats diseases and all that, that came way later. But Exiles Files was really good, though. I enjoyed that series.
ですね Yeah, they they had a really good setup. And then, of course, um, Scully got pregnant and all that, and they tried to tie that into some things. I still love the um, the cops episode. <laughs> that was uh, that was when they they had to work with Boulder and Scully. <laughs> that shit was so good. And they were basically trying to track down a werewolf. That was such a good episode. But it was like from the perspective of cops, so it was like in that kind of recording. That was such a fun crossover. Like whoever whoever thought that was a good idea should have gotten a raise and I hope they did. Yeah, it, it gets weird towards the end. Like, it it start become it starts becoming a little bit too much of itself. Like, instead of just being paranormal stuff that you can't entirely explain, um, it's just stuff you know, like stuff that just kind of happens. And then Mulder and Scully are just kind of sitting there going, like, "How do we explain this or whatever?" And it's like, well, I guess we just document what happened, and that's it. That's all. That's as far as we can go with it. But like later on, they try to like tie it to like actual aliens and stuff like that, and literal like biblical shit. Where it's like, oh, is is Mulder like some kind of chosen one thing or whatever the fuck they were doing? That that's pretty much where I fell out because I was just kind of like, and eh, it's not it's not the same anymore. I liked it when it was just bizarre shit that no one can really explain, and even if they could, people would just think they're crazy and then move on. Like, I think that was a lot more entertaining than trying to have an actual, like, giant spectacle out of it all. It's kind of like what happened with the Chucky movies, where towards the end of the, at least the original ones, they were making it more campy and jokey and comedic. And I feel that would have worked better if they were if they made like an actual show out of out of um chucky and his and his wife 
like that would have made more sense and it could have been like you know they could have just been hiding where it's like okay they have their own place they're kept to themselves but you know people people keep pissing them off and like they could even pretend that they're just like little people or whatever at that point because they're you know they're trapped in doll bodies or whatever and they could have made it comedic off of that but trying to do that in a movie that's supposed to be tied to all the other stuff um it just didn't work for it and i think if they had made a show based off of what they were doing for bride of chucky and then and then um uh, made the show based off of that and then make seed of chucky then they could have made it work or even take place after seed of chucky well maybe not after because stuff happens that would get in the way of the initial idea but you know just um take the elements that they were going to use and make a show out of that then i think it would have worked better actually let's change this like it could have been its own thing but like it was definitely a takeaway from them trying to do comedy horror rather than just slasher horror Get her boobs in, grow here, unlucky. I mean, I can make them bigger. <laughs> Is that what you're asking? <laughs> No, no, it's fine. Just a funny officer. Okay, I'll keep it this way then. <laughs> she is missing this though. There you go. Yeah, it's better without that. There you go. And then, because this is going on, put like a bra or something. I find it humorous that they're adding in more furry characters into One Piece. Because I know there's that one bunny girl, too. And I saw, like, one fight where she, like, transforms, and I thought that was pretty neat. She's like, I wish I was bigger. And she's like, oh, okay. And this makes her fatter, but not her boobs. <laughs> it's like, that's not what I meant. It's like, you didn't specify. As the god just float, flies away. <laughs> Let's chunk this out a bit more. I need to do that, I just need to have like an like a twisted genie character who grants wishes, but if you don't specify then that leaves um things up to interpretation. So the genie can do whatever they want. Where it's like, oh I wish I can fly, and then it gives you like six wings that you can't hide from anybody. Granted in their in my world, that's probably not 
not too out of the ordinary. But it could be more twisted. It could be like the wings come out of places that, that don't make sense. Or it's like the wings come out of the chest. And so you're basically flying in a you know, backwards or in a weird direction. Or a, a weird formation. Yeah, monkey spa character. <laughs> That'd be fun. Have a character go like, I wish I was bigger, and then it just makes them fat. It's like, that's not what I meant. And it's like, well, you need to be careful what you wish for next time. <laughs> just, just have a character be a total asshole. And then, like, the way to beat the character is, like, trap them in a paradox. So you just, so you basically stop them by saying, I wish for you to not grant my wish. Yeah, helium <laughs> inflation. <laughs> That'd be a good one. But yeah, beating the character would be trapping them in that paradox. And the only reason why I even know that saying is because of... Um, extreme ghostbusters they had that they had a episode where it was like a evil genie just going around picking random people and granting their wishes but in a twisted way and um one like in the i think in the beginning there was um there was more or there was a guy who wished he was made of money so the genie literally turns him into money And then I think there was, there was like one where a woman wished she was on TV and the guy just literally traps her in a TV, like puts her um, on like some random station that she was trapped in. Man, Extreme Ghostbusters is so fucking good. It was weird that they didn't use them as inspiration for the sequ for that one Ghostbuster movie with all the women. It was like, okay, you want ethnicity and you know other types of people in ghostbusters cool here's extreme ghostbusters the perfect example of that but no they they completely ignore that example and do their bullshit and then it's like one of the worst versions of ghostbusters i was like gee i wonder why because <laughs> you guys don't know what the fuck you're doing and i don't know how all these people keep getting these jobs like, I have no no issues with the actors and all that, because, you know, they're just there to act. They're not making up the, the writing and shit like that. At least I hope that wasn't them. But I don't understand how people can come up with so many bad ideas for a really good series and still find work. It's like, how do you do that? How do you... It's like, it's like your fault. You're just failing upwards. Okay, her tail is going to be the interesting part. So let me move her over just so I make sure I get it. And then I can adjust the canvas afterwards. What if you wish for more wishes? I have no idea what a monkey paw scenario would do that would would do to make that happen. Or, you know what, it could be just a time thing where it just sends you back in time and you make like the same wi the same wishes again up until the last one. And then you're just you're you then you, he just forces you to pick something else. It could be that scenario. He could just make he could he could just repeat time. Because other than that, I don't I don't know how he could twist that one. But then even if you wish you wish for more wishes, then you're just trapped with more monkey ball shit. So And it was like a scenario where he would keep bothering you until you made a wish. Like he would get he would purposely sabotage whatever it is you're doing until you had to make a wish for something. Like it was that kind of evil genie.
yeah like he like i could totally see the character um forcing you to repeat your first two wishes assume like let's just assume you had three because i think this genie only gave out one wish and that was it like you would just randomly pick people to give one wish to and then he would just make it a fun monkey's paw thing but um like, let's just say you had three wishes. I could totally see him just making you repeat your first two. And then the third one is when you're allowed to make another choice. Because I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want to be stuck in that time loop. Um, dealing with dealing with you the entire time. And even if you did try to trap him in a time loop, he'd probably figure out how to twist that too. And since he's a genie, I don't, he, he's probably immune to time changes. I wish for more wishes. I wish for more wishes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that. That would be a, that. W that would be weird. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he would just do something to sabotage it or or manipulate it in some way. Or like it could be something stupid. Like he just gives you a bunch of coffee mugs that say wishes on it. Because again, if you're not specific, then a genie can just manipulate whatever the fuck you say. But yeah, the answer to that was just, I wish for you to not grant my wish. So it trapped him, it put him in a paradox and kind of like self destructed. I don't know if that would happen to an actual genie, but it would be interesting if that if you were stuck in some kind of predicament like that. Okay, so let's do her tail. Her tail now. Uh, seems like the bottom tip of her tail is pretty much right on her ass. So, go from here. Hello, Master Sauce. Goodbye, Master Sauce.
guess this is supposed to mean it's fluffy in some spots. It's kind of just random lines, really. Eh. I'll just do that initial shape. I can do this, though. Something like this. It's kind of just random poofiness. Shake it up a little bit more. I should watch Traf Tropic, uh, Tropic Thunder again. That movie was fun. Okay, pretty much got that, so let's just change the canvas. fruit in your hand. Make it look like she ate like a fattening devil fruit. Alright, take care. I'll probably getting, get off in like another hour. Maybe less, depending on how quickly I get through this. But yeah, you take care.
<laughs> I see what you did there. Just you and I now. Okay, if you're going, then I'll probably stop the stream and just continue on um, off stream. But um, thank you for coming, though. You have a good night. Or, yeah, good night. <laughs> I was like, is it nighttime for you? I'm like, yes, yes, because you're going to bed. So it's night. Yay. <laughs> Take care. now. 